Okay, so tell me a little bit more. How does this market work? Well, there are 10 different artists involved, and they're doing everything from some are playing music or reading aloud from a book. Uh, There was one girl who would even uh, record the sounds that your guitar makes as you play Guitar Hero and then give it back to you in a kind of unique composition. And they're all encouraged not to eat anything that they can't get for their work. So you see people walking around with stacks of candy and uh, muffins and sandwiches that they are actually trading for artwork. And there was one guy there who made it really easy on everyone. He just painted words like juice and fruit and peanuts on colorful little plaques that you could trade for that particular kind of food. Okay, so what's the idea behind this? What's the market all about? Well, it it actually depends on which artist that you talk to. Um, For some, it's a look at the struggle that artists face to support themselves with their work. and for others, it's just kind of a neat way to interact with people. It's it's kind of a more personal experience than someone just handing over a wad of cash. And so I, I gathered up my own bag of goodies to barter with, and I got a chance to chat with some of the artists, and, and here's a taste of what they had to say. Yeah, I like cranberry. Okay. okay. It's cranberry. Oh, yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Jenna Katarna, and I will sell my photographs for food. Hi, my name is Jonah, and I will play video games all day for food. Hi, my name is Kristen Smith. For food, I am exchanging stories and time with people. The dead smell of sun on the wood cabins, the stiffness of sails, the long salt wandering sheets. Um, My name is Shane J. Krirar. I am willing to trade a song for food. Some fruit here and... uh some muffins. Do you think I could trade you one of these for a song? There you go. Hey, Julie Campbell, you're a star. You're better than me at crystallography, but that's not so hard. Artists kind of, they enrich culture, right? And often we do starve, and unless people support us, basically whatever we get in exchange for our work is basically like food on the table which is strange when you make because it's it's this passionate thing you do you love making things and it's hard to like let's say felt a little tiny monster and then be like oh you're an apple did you have to barter with anybody yeah some people um they would they would ask you what you thought their um their piece of art was worth and that uh you would ask them, you know, what their, what their body needs, what they were craving. And so um, one guy in particular, he, he wanted a bag of chips, so I had to run out and get him a bag of chips. There, there was a lot of discussion involved. I think that's what people liked about it. Yeah.